He's so happy right now. He loves it. Oh my gosh! Oh no, what's she doing? <laughs> What is going on guys? Me and Poe here. We just got back from the junkyard and uh, Poe is doing some, I don't know. Let, let me let me explain some backstory before I show you what's in the back of my truck. So Poe asked, uh, do you want to ride with me to the junkyard? I'm going to get an exhaust for my car. And as you guys probably know if you watch his channel, he went and picked up this V6 car that he actually got a twin turbo kit for that he's planning on building in the near future and everything. Pretty cool. But um, here's the exhaust that we went to go pick up for the V6 Mustang. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> this is my best yeah. Life. So he picked up an 18 wheeler. Um, what do you what do you call these? It's an 18 a cab wheeler. stack? I don't know. Stack? I, 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 it literally, okay. Look, imagine that the eight the cab of the 18 wheeler is like this. You know the little stacks that come off of each side in the back of the 18 wheeler. This is literally one off of a wrecked 18 wheeler that we went and picked up from the junkyard. And um, there's all kinds of stuff coming out of it. But anyways, the top is bent, so we're gonna cut right here off, and he's gonna apparently fab this up today on his car. Yeah. <laughs> yup, another day in paradise. <laughs> and another day at the office. And so while we were at it, I figured I was like, I want to do some exhaust stuff to the Volvo. I just don't really have the quite the same interest as putting an 18-wheeler hood stack on my car. So anyways, I was talking to Poe, and we were looking under the car, and I know that I said that I wasn't going to mod this car, but that looks really bad. That's a muffler, and um, it looks like it's really rusted out. It's not a performance <laughs> mod, it's a... Uh... Make yeah. sure it stays good. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. So anyways, we're going to do some maintenance today. We're going to take care of some rusted parts, and we're going to delete the muffler off of this car. I've looked at videos online. I hear the potential that these cars have to sound amazing, and uh, today we're going to give it a shot of our own. Do you want to move it on the lift for me? Here you go. Oh, get your key tags. Get your key tags. Click up here or there or something. Oh my get your key tags. They if you have a manual car. You can't outshift an auto, <laughs> but damn it, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hang on. Look, start it real quick. Oh my God, you can't even hear the exhaust back here. Go ahead. There is definitely a potential there. There's definitely a muffled backfire that we can make that sound loud. <laughs> he said there is absolutely a muffled backfire that we can make sound great. For those of you that haven't seen, this is probably confusing, but I did get a Volvo S60R. This is the coolest car, honestly, that I've ever had for a daily driver. It's a manual transmission for one, six speed manual, all wheel drive. It's got active chassis, active suspension and everything. It, I mean, it's a seriously crazy car and it's got a pretty decently sized turbo on it. So anyways, I picked this car up for really really cheap and uh, it's a very nice car but the only thing that I really have to complain about is the fact that the exhaust is so quiet for a sports car it's got Brembo brakes it's got every other aspect of a sports car it's got a turbo it's got pretty much everything that you could ask for out of a daily driver except for a nice sounding exhaust so as you guys know from the Miata turbo noises sound really good whenever they're coming out of a straight pipe Right now we're going to put this thing up in the air. We're going to look underneath this, see where we need to cut at. We're going to go pick up some piping. We've got the welder over here from Eastwood. Huge thanks to Eastwood, by the way. Um, and then after that, we're going to have to cut out this muffler that we have in the car. Planning on welding pipes between there, basically just to make it a straight pipe. Yeah, see that resonator? There's no. There's oh wait, you're right. Else. There's a cat right there, but the yeah. resonator itself doesn't have anything. So I say cut this So here. we could cut it and run it straight all the way to the back. Literally, the way this sits, this is the this is the bottom of the trunk. The gas tank's gonna be right here. So yeah, we can cut this, cut this. And so then... what do you what do you think would be easiest? Literally just to cut these welds right here and cut these welds right here and then weld two little small pipes between there, or would it be better to run one solid pipe from up there by that resonator all the way back? I think honestly, the resonator should probably stay on, huh? You no? want it to backfire and go. Bruh, bruh, bruh when you stop then yes you do so you want it to be cut off. <laughs> i didn't even get the answer <laughs> all right so what we can do is this looks like two and three quarter right here two foot maybe three foot long we'll just cut it to size and do the so resonator delete do here uh realistically what i want to do i'm going to make a new flange and then we could bolt that flange together i could do that and then we could run this all the way back so we can unbolt this by the way poe is our certified welder which is why he's helping me with this project this would be very easy to do unless we could get this off yeah you see the cat has oh the o2 gosh. sensor at the top look at the bolts yeah i know i told you there's like no bolt there anymore that is not even a bolt what the heck that 
was at one point a bolt. That was at one point a bolt. Probably have to cut on the back side of this and get all that crap out. You know what? We're gonna cut it here and we're gonna get a crimp. A we're clamp. Gonna crimp it and then I'm gonna weld it from the bottom side and then make sure it's clamped on the top because I'm not gonna be able to get the welder up here and we can't unbolt this from the turbo because that's ass. We could do that or I could just make a new flange. Both of them are really reasonable. It's just, if I make a flange, we're gonna have to stop by like tractor supply and get a sheet of metal and then find a gasket. Okay, so we should probably, I think what we came to the conclusion of is the easiest and quickest way to do this would be just to clamp right here to a new pipe coming back and then cut right here and clamp to a new pipe right i can just weld that because it'll be off the car we just need to get away for it to uh, i whole see back section to be off the car so i see weld it. right that's the gas tank and i don't want to weld next to that so how are we going to do this back here with these two pipes though that's easy we'll just get two pipes well how do we know what size we need to cut this we first and measure degree angle and it looks like I'm really interested to see if you can actually make this work. I'm not going to lie to you. I've done some very interesting exhausts on vehicles. If it will, if it still looks like this and comes out the back straight and everything, I'd be more than impressed with you. I'm not going to even play. Do you know the, uh, you know the exhaust I'm putting on my car? Yes. That's not the craziest thing I've done when it comes to exhaust. So. No, I mean, I believe that. You're pro. You're a welder. You must have this. Is that an OD tape measure? That is dope. It measures the OD. So you measure around it. Well, actually, it doesn't have the right markings on it, but I know where to go with it. We'll make it work. So that's going to be a 45, 245, and I can weld the difference. Three foot. They sell them in either two or three foot sections, so we'll get a three foot. Okay, guys, we are going to head to the store real quick. We've got all the measurements and parts that we need for the car. We're going to go run, grab some exhaust pipe. We're going to run and grab the salt off. That door is so loud. You know what would be really nice? We were talking about this the other day. It'd be cool if we could put like an electric motor around the chain. So that way you can hit it like a remote and actually punch the remote and then it opens the door by the chain. That'd be pretty cool. worked in a shop? Well, yeah, I know, but I'm saying like, I don't have one. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> All it is is a little like three-way button. We need one. That'd be dope. Anyways, let's go to the store. <laughs> okay, so we just got back from the store. Check that out. We got a Craftsman Sawzall. We got some uh, exhaust stuff. We got some spray paint and we got some piping here and a little bit more. I'm honestly curious if this is even going to work because this is like the, uh, probably the most ghetto straight piped exhaust that I've ever seen be done. Huh? Wait until it's done. No, you said it's ghetto. Wait until it's done. You'll, you'll understand. It'll, it'll look ghetto, but it'll sound great, and it's never going to come off. So we got a few components here. Like I said, we've got our 45s there. We've got our straight pipes for the muffler delete and the resonator delete there. We've got some spray paint to cover up all the welds once we get done to make it look all nice. And we've got our reciprocating saw with our blades. And last but not least, we've got our exhaust clamp, like I was saying, that we have to clamp uh, at the very front so we don't have to pull the whole turbo back exhaust off. So let me open this door up, and I guess we're going to get started cutting. And this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. This thing smells like a floaty. Whenever you open up a pool floaty, Yep, that's weird. I will make sure it is straight. Don't you worry. I'm straight cutter. <laughs> Just pick up on the pipe real fast. <laughs> All right. That was the plan. Oh, Joke's on you. I was just wanting to do this the whole time. <laughs> Joke's on you. We were just going to cut it in half. Oh so now we're going to have to cut this one to size. Oh, I was pushing that ball. Now, put that on there. We're going to weld on there. Then we got to connect that to this. Wait, this is what we were going to put our clamp on, huh? Yeah, so our clamp is going to go. That might not even work. No. -uh. Yeah. I would, I I can would overlamp that. it like that. Yes. I could definitely weld it. Yeah, we can weld it right here, but how are we going to weld the back part now? You might have to take this loose and no. scoot it back. I don't want to hear no. Again. How are we going to do? How are we going to do? How are we going? We're just going to do it, son. Okay. Let me let me get to my action. All right, so that's going to go there. It's going to go there. I'm going to cut this right about there. You have a marker or sharpie? Yeah. Okay, so about right. Let me see it there. Okay, where are we going to cut this at now to hold? We got to hold this somehow, and I don't have a vise over here. Oh, yeah. Kids, if you're watching this, do not try this at home. The blade went sideways. You saw that? <laughs> We're going to have to drop that zip tie. Yes. 
on your shield. Right. <laughs> it went to toink. Okay, pipe mock up part two. Put in there. Okay. Hang now on. lift it. Let me see. Yep, that's gonna line up perfect. I think we can get it all together too. Now we need to cut the zip tie on the back, right? Mm. Nope, we we need to get that welded up first. Okay, so we need to take this entire thing yep. off. Uh, if you spray WD-40 yeah, on that, WD it'll come off insanely easy. Oh, It's not gonna be as bad as you think. Damn. Whoa, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. That is actually really crazy. Hang on, talk like you're normally talking. Talk how you're talking. No, outside of it. Okay, so here's Poe. That's you talking normal? I'm talking completely normal. Holy crap. You're talking completely normal? That is so muffled. Holler, oh, look, 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 holler in it. Oh, uh, Holy cow. Oh my god, it's gonna be loud! <laughs> You've got a carbon mustache, let me see. Hola, yeah, my name the, is The, the girls dig it. Hola, my name Poe. <laughs> the easiest way is gonna be to do this, Poe, is we're gonna cut the muffler back off, mount this back onto the car, and then... Tack it. Tack it, yeah. And then pull it off and re-weld the whole entire thing around. Okay, why is that so thick? Because you're cutting on the it's edge of a weld. weld. That Holy weld is going to be strong. The weld is stronger right. than the middle. Itself. I would cut it right behind that flange. Poe, do you think that that will be okay if what? I cut it back here? Yeah. On the small part? Yeah, Our blade. Blade up. We already ate up a blade. When you cut it, cut it closest to here. Yeah, well, the, we were gonna do that, except for it up. keeps heating, eating the blades up doing that. I'm yeah. telling you, look at them. Yeah, it says for metal. I don't understand. There's nothing wrong with this. It won't cut through. Watch now. If I put a new one on. You want me to try it before you ruin it? No. Hang on. See, cut through, cut through immediately. Definitely. Okay, so now we need to put that on and we can weld that up there and uh, I'm gonna cut those off though. Oh, yeah, actually before we do that, that's right I'm not what you, mean by that. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's weird. It must just be cheap blades. You wanted the craftsman ones <laughs> Yeah, hi 10 Okay, now we need to zip tie this approximately where it's gonna be. Yeah, that's good. That's about right. Yep, that's good. All right. Okay, so now we're going to basically put our quad, well, not quad tips in this case, being that they're not on the other side. We're gonna put our tips in over here and uh, basically hold them up in place. Then we're gonna have to take our 45 degree pipes here that we got, and we're gonna have to mark and make some more cuts to be able to make these fit in place. This is actually gonna work, Poe. Oh, it's so close. It really is. Yeah, that's why I got a long piece too, so we can weld it. Might have to cut an angle on this too. Well, look, we have an angle. Well, we, it's supposed to now, but <laughs> if we took this right here, supposed to. if we put this right here and cut it like that, like at an angle, mm -hmm. Paul is teaching me things. That will go over. All right, bet. Oh, look, we, we can just put bet. it. Wait, that one almost is very perfectly straight. That's what put I was looking at. Almost, you could look like you could just weld that straight in there. If you were you to can. cut this side you angled right, can. it would work. All right, guys, so I've got my 45 right here. This is gonna be the goal. We're gonna put it in on this one right here. And as you notice, it almost lines up. So we're gonna have to need just a tiny bit more of extension. So we're gonna tack weld this part onto the pipe right here. And then we're gonna have to close this gap with a little bit of small pipe. Then after that, our ghetto piping is gonna work perfect. Oh, Poe already got it. That's very hot. You know what? Listen how hot this is, and I'm just holding it. Aw. Sounds really hot, dude. How are you holding that? I can see steam everywhere. Can't believe you're really holding that. I honestly don't know if you're just like... I'm <laughs> just being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, if I would have put it in your hand, you'd have been like, Ah, I'm a bitch! One <laughs> just like that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, have, I ever, have I ever told you how much I really appreciate you having skills that I don't have? Um... No. So thank you. I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> I really don't have skills that you don't have. Hey. But here's the thing though, I want to try and weld this. Will you let me? I want you to teach me to weld on camera so that way everybody can see my boo boo welds. No reason why not to. It's your car. Look at that mock up there, boy. It's It's got a gap, but it ain't too big. 
That's not a bad gap though. Especially for, where do we get this pipe from again? O'Reilly's? Let me teach you something about welding. This machine is not turned up enough. There we go. All right. Okay, what the f What do you mean, what the f Weird welding on 110. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> That's weird. I've never welded on 110 before. Don't burn through now. It wants to light. Just gotta get up in there. Just make sure you don't touch the tip. Get closer. Ow. You gotta get closer. Like, not you. Like, the, the tip has to get closer, but you can't touch it. I know it's hard to do, but you gotta get that gas flow in there. Okay. This is not working very efficiently. It's just a matter of practice. You want to put it in there, get a little puddle going, and then bring it to the other side. Ow, what the? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ow. Do we need any more on these? Or... Uh-uh, I'll, I'll tack it. Okay. I want to get these guys, but I want to tack those. Can I tack right here? Oh yeah, you can tack right there. Okay, let me try on that. I'm gonna be honest with you, it sounded like you didn't get any finish. Oh, hell yeah, you did. Look at it. Woo! Is that good? Did I do good, Paul? I don't know, my eyes are still adjusting. <laughs> yes, you did good. That oh. was a tack from one piece to the other piece. Oh, that was, thank you. That was great. That was good. I did something. All right. These weren't bad, but they didn't get much penetration like at all. So okay. let me keep on going with this guy right here and I'll, uh, we'll it. take it off and we'll put a whole beat on it. Hell yeah, Paul. We got it all, oh. Got it all tacked up and everything. Paul, you did really good. That looks seriously fantastic for MIG. I'm not gonna lie, that is really good. Shit looks booty. Booty? That looks really good, dog. And Poe managed to keep the tips perfectly straight. Okay, so now that we got that done, we need to pull Take basically the off. entire thing off. Then we can drop it down, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish welding out the beads on the uh, exhaust and everything. We're probably already tacked up. Okay, let's set it down so we can actually hook up the welder back to 220. And, uh, or do you want me to just weld it, finish welding that all 110? It's set up perfect right now. Okay, so we'll just weld it on 110. You, there's some gaps in here. No, Poe, I'm doing it. Oh yeah, send it. Yeah. Oh yeah, he got that. He got the ground on there. He's already learning. It's just a fab shop, is what it is. Don't look directly at it. Why? I like the blue light. <laughs> the blue light, pretty. Okay, I burnt that the ain't hole bad. in it. I burnt that the hole ain't bad in it. at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now how do you keep it from burning a hole in it? Uh, you gotta pulse it. Hold it closer. It's, it's not beautiful, but what you're doing, you're holding it too far. You okay. need to hold it about here. Take two. This is why it's spinning out like that is because it's not getting gas. Closer. There. Closer. Closer. Hold it closer. There you go. Burning through. That has to do with wire speed. God dang it. I like the way you burn through. It keeps burning through. Okay, I'll let you try. <laughs> you let me try? Yeah. All right, I'll give it a shot. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. <laughs> I'll try it on a, something that's a little bit more straight. Are you burning through? No. Well, yeah, but no. Slag is hot. Yeah, hot. You're telling me. Okay, so that ginormous hole right there is really freaking hard to get to because this pipe's in the way, but it's all good. Okay, yep, yep, yours look much better than mine. That is for sure. Do look like ass though. She's bitchy, she really is though. Attitude's a little bit shit. Wanna take it to the city? Yeah. She talks shit on girls just for being pretty. Why you like that? Huh? Look at a god, I can tell she didn't like that. Now she wanted me to fight back. Wild as hell, thank god I didn't like that. She got a fat ass though. Bring it to Facebook, man, she's psycho. I still lay pipe though. For a second, I was thinking this was gonna be my home. But I can't do it, baby. You had your chance and blew it, baby. This ain't just me. Dang, Bo. Yeah, you're a lot better than this. Uh, or at this than Thanks me. for that. <laughs> you're a lot better than this. I mean, <laughs> I meant you're a lot better at this than me. Okay, so anyways, what I've learned today is that uh, Poe is gonna have to sit down with me and we're gonna have to have welding 101 class. So we need to mock this up again, right? We need to put it up there and then we need to slip the pipe this on. And that only? Right. And then we can weld that pipe on and we'll get them in and we'll bend them up and they'll go into place. And then, well, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to bend them in, lift it up in place, tack it quite a bit, and then we'll drop it the whole entire thing by the flex pipe down just a little bit, just so you can get on top of it like this yep. and weld all the way around. Ow, mother 
Oh, hold on, God damn. What, what happened? There? What do you say Al for? It shot the fuck out of me. Okay, Paul, are you done tacking? My eyes are closed. I can't see. I'm scared. Flags are going straight on to me. Bro, how do you think I feel? Poe's underneath it. <laughs> He's wadding underneath it. <laughs> Does anyone have a zip tie cutter? pretty wild. Look at that. Dang, Paul. That's that pretty, is wild. pretty wild. Look at that. Wow. It's because I didn't have to cover over yours. I'm sorry, though. Hey! Hey, reach in my pocket and give me a fuck. I'm not reaching in your pocket. There's so much going on what right now. What do I look like? There really is a lot There's going a lot. on right now. There's noises. <laughs> Poe's welding. I have real thick wood. Yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I have real thick wood. Poe's really just a... He's a real man. Look at him up there. He has no jacket on. Manly man. No gloves. No gloves, no nothing. Shorts. <laughs> that's, a, that's a man right there. It's, it's on, on fire. fire. You saw it on fire up there? I saw it on fire. Poe, that is straight on fire. Poe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then it's done. Poe, I freaking love you. Love you too. Huh? I said I love you too. Oh, I thought you said I do too. I was like, oh, you love you too. Okay, <laughs> fuck. Sorry. Oh no, we didn't weld it high enough. It's gonna rattle, we didn't weld it high enough. It will rattle. <laughs> what about if we tack it right there? One tack. Yes. So, why are you not even weld, not even a mask? This man here, bro. All of the mm, lights. Bitch, that went right in my eye. What? <laughs> Oh yeah, you're not even wearing a mask. Where is the mask? That's what I was looking That's for. That's gonna work. That's not gonna break. That's fine. Wait. Alright, now I got this bitch. We can actually get this work. Hang on, whoa, 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 wait. Tap that again? Tap that again? Tap it? I've been hearing this rattling and I don't know where it actually has been coming from. Bump it again. Wait, keep bumping it? Shield right there. Side right here. Oh, the weld broke on it. That's why. Can you see it right there? Yep. You're a Bump pretty down. damn good at welding. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, noise is going. Whenever you told me that you could weld whenever I first met you, I'm not gonna say that I didn't believe you, but I didn't really you believe, didn't believe you. Me. No one believes me about anything. That's not true. I just have to prove it right. And I, usually I'm good at that. You are, I will say that. All right guys, there we have it. The exhaust is completely finished up. Thanks to Poe. Give me a hug, buddy. Seriously, it's probably gonna sound really good. Um, it looks really good for being that we spent like seventy dollars. Well, no, but we're not even using those pies, so we spent around forty-five dollars, probably about forty-five dollars, and we got to return that clamp too. The clamp was sixteen dollars. Oh, yeah. We spent about forty dollars in metal, so forty dollars in free labor from Poe. <laughs> look at that. It does kind of look jank, but again, these are not custom piping. We don't even have a pipe bender. This is literally just Poe <laughs> fabricating and uh, making things work and it actually is not bad so there is no more resonator and there is also no more giant muffler that was back here in the back either so um it should make quite a big difference i'm not gonna lie all righty guys there we have it let's go ahead and get this thing lowered down oh, all those are we can't do that on my videos but i just did I said it's gonna backfire? It's gonna backfire. Bro, it's it's gonna backfire. Dude, that thing sounds sick. What does that even sound like? It sounds like a damn viper. Come back here and listen to me. Oh, 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 oh. It's spraying stuff all over me. My God. Oh my God. Dude, I, I was probably This is the coolest Volvo I've ever heard. I'm pretty sure you're the only one that said that though. What? <laughs> this is an amazing <laughs> Volvo. What? No, there's people that mod Volvos. A lot of people mod Volvo. <laughs> Man, you look like a whole ass dentist. A dentist? Oh no, there's the other one. The two balls. Oh no. Hey! 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 Hey, shut your mouth! Shut your f ass yeah, so. up! Hey. This is awkward. I need to get her reaction. The group of Volvos. Volvo versus Volvo. Roll the. See it now. He straight piped it. Darling, can you straight pipe my car? <laughs> oh, so my girlfriend actually has the old Volvo that I used to have, the Volvo uh, S80. As you guys have probably seen, the timing belt went out on it and stuff like that. And I've 
done a few things to that car here and there. This sounds so crisp and clean. It's honestly like the perfect volume, like the perfect volume. It's not too loud and obnoxious. Like if I were to take the cats off of the car, it would be probably really, really obnoxious. sound of this thing leaving the cats on with no muffler or resonator is really making me anxious and making me want to do something with this car. Oh, fight the urge. Oh, it sounds so good though. He's so happy right now. He loves it. Oh my gosh. Get the back side. Hey, check him. Can you stop? That is a long Don't turn. Don't do that to her. <laughs> oh no, what did she do? <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Oh my gosh. It popped with me standing right next to it and I felt it in my chest. As the pipes are like getting warm, it's starting to get broken in and it's like it's starting to really, really sound good. What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, that's a big old truck to be burning out like that. <laughs> okay guys, well there you have it. We have officially straight piped the Volvo. A lot better sound than I was honestly expecting too. It's really, really nice. Still very quality, really crisp. Keeping the cats on there was probably like the best thing that could have been done. If the cats would not be in there, it would be it's in insanely obnoxious, but it sounds really, really good with the cats still in. I guess apparently Austin's about to do a burnout in his car. I don't know, but anyways, the Volvo came out absolutely perfect. Also, if you have not checked out Poe's channel, click above, go check out Poe's channel. Uh, I, I don't know why I'm friends with these people. Everybody likes doing dumb stuff. V6 does better burnouts. <laughs> Your V6 did a much better burnout, not even gonna lie. Look at that. You see this whole mark all the way right here going all the way down the road? Yeah, that was from Poe. Poe, you look like an Indian right now. You have oh no, stuff you all doing? over your face. Not that you know man, not that broken. kind of Indian, you damn it. Double, 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 not that double, double, one. A Native American. Jesus free. Christ. Is that all you got? It's better. All right, guys, that is it. I'll see you guys next video. I'm gonna take it. Take it. If you won't give it to me, I'm gonna take it.